I just wanted to let you know that you do have the power to get rid of procrastination. You have the power to get rid of anxiety. You have the power to get rid of depression itself, bruh. You don't need to stay in depression. Depression is a feeling. First, you act like you're depressed and then you become depressed, okay? I do this, like, so I'm speaking out experience. If I don't want to do something, I act like I'm down and whatever, and then I fall into freaking depression. We need to stop putting our feelings first. Why are we putting our feelings first? When we put our feelings first, we don't execute nothing. We want, we want to start a business. We want to start a YouTube channel. We want to do all this stuff. You want to be a, your own boss or whatever. But you letting your feelings, your emotions control your environment. You letting your feelings, your emotions control your actions. You letting your feelings and emotions control your life. It says lean not on your own understanding and acknowledge him in all your ways. Do not listen to your emotions. Your emotions are not your friends. Your emotions, your negative emotions are not your friends. And I had to listen to myself because I know better. When you know better, you do better. That's false. That's false. Because if you let your emotions control your actions, you're not going to do better. You know what you're supposed to do. You know you're supposed to take time off your day to do something. But you letting your tiredness control your next action. You tired, so you're about to go take a nap. Or you don't feel like doing this, so you're about to go chill and watch TV. You're about to literally waste your God-given time, your God-given talent, because you don't feel like it. We need to stop letting our emotions dictate our life, bruh. Our emotions should not dictate your life. If you want to start that business, do it now. It ain't no perfect time, bruh. It will never be no perfect time. I remember when I was living for the perfect time. I was living for the perfect time. I didn't get nothing done. I didn't get nothing done. I had all the resources. I had all the opportunity, the time God gave us, multiple opportunities to do what I want to do, but I'm waiting on the right time. It will never be the right time for you to start that business. It will never be the right time for you to start your YouTube channel. It will never be the right time for you to cut off those people that is draining you mentally and physically, it will never be the right time when you keep on waiting for the right time. Do it now. Do it now. Stop letting your emotions control your environment. Stop letting your emotions control your next move. Stop letting your emotions take over your life, bruh. Your life. You're, you're letting your emotions take over your life. That procrastination, that sadness, that depression, that anxiety, that fear, bruh. Let's speak about fear. Fear, bruh. Whew, Jesus, fear is not of God. When you find yourself fearful or in a fearful situation, you started a project and you can't even finish it because you're afraid of what other people might think. You started a YouTube channel, you can't finish because you're afraid of what other people got to say. They they in your life, they paying your bills, they feeding you, they making sure that you're good. What? What what are they doing? List, list, list off the things these people doing for you that you so afraid of their opinion and what they got to say in your life. Just, just put me on because I'm going to put you on that. None of that matters. None of it. None of that matters. Don't be afraid of what the next person got to say. Don't be afraid of the future or what the future hold because a lot of us is afraid of success. People are afraid of success and I was one of them. Because I'm like, bruh, if I be successful, everybody and anybody going to be coming to asking me for money or whatever. Bruh, I have the power to say no. I don't have to give nothing to nobody if I don't want to. And especially if they have it contribute to my life in any kind of way, any kind of shape or form. You don't have to. Stop fearing success. Success is the best thing that will happen to your life, bruh. Start that business. Start that YouTube channel. Do whatever you want to do. Do whatever God has put on your heart and on your mind to do. Move through him. Move through the spirit of goodness. Move through the spirit of, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Move through that spirit. Move through that Christ spirit. Move through that, that spirit that if you have a little faith of a mustard seed, you can tell these mountains to leave. Like, bruh, depression, gotta go. Anxiety, gotta go. That fear, gotta go. Out your life right now. Declare it in the name of Jesus because Jesus ain't playing. 
And you shouldn't be playing. You shouldn't be playing around with fear. You shouldn't be playing around with depression. You shouldn't be playing around with procrastination. You shouldn't be playing around with anxiety. You shouldn't be playing around with those feelings. Those feelings are not your, they are not here for your best intention. They're not here. The devil wants you to get in your feelings. The devil wants you to be distract, distracted. Why do we stay on our phones so much? Why do we stay on our phones, stay on our phones, being used by our phones? We scrolling, 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 procrastinating on our goals and our dreams. We, we broke all, everything down, everything you want to do. I don't even know if some of y'all got a new resolution. I don't. I've been starting my life, my new life journey or whatever. But if you do, you already wrote it down, bro. I wrote mine down and I'm still procrastinating. Um, oh, excuse me. I'm still trying to figure out what I should do when I know what I supposed to do. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be around the bus. God already told me what I'm supposed to be doing, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to do the easiest thing that God told me to do. I don't want to, people, stop looking outside of yourself, okay? You have your talents. You have your gifts. You have your goals. Stop trying to mimic any and everybody. That's not how you're going to live your life. That's not how you're going to be successful. Trying to copy what everybody else is doing. You need to be yourself. You need to be you. You need to be showing the people who you are and what you came to do, okay? Stop living in fear. Stop living in procrastination. Stop letting your phone take up your time, bruh. Some of us need to cut our phones off. Some of, some of us need to take our phones and put it in a different room. These phones, these screens, this internet, social media, TikTok is very distracting, bruh. It will distract you from your dreams as you let it. If you continue to scroll online for every day after work, you will never <laughs> exceed nothing. You will never do anything. You will never accomplish anything because you're you're giving your time away to other people's dreams, other people's goals, and what everybody else doing. Why are you worried about what everybody else doing? You sitting over here disintegrating, watching, 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 wasting time, watching, 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 wasting your dreams and your goals, watching, watching, watching everybody else fulfill their dreams and their goals and you're continue watching 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 scrolling watching 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 no content making no content creation but scrolling watching 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 some of us need to break up with our phones bruh some of us need to give our phones a time out some of us need to give your phone a break bruh you can't even go to the bathroom without your phone being right next to you i'm telling the truth for what because i'm literally speaking on myself and if this relates to you then you need to listen to this we need to give our phone some breaks, bruh. If we're not working on our phone, if our phone not benefiting us in no kind of way, if our phone literally just showing us things to distract us, get off of it. Because you need to be working. You need to be creative. You need to be doing something for the kingdom God related, bruh. You need to be building. You need to be putting up blocks in certain places. You need to be on your grind, on your focus. You need to be focusing on you. Stop focusing on everybody else and what they got to do. Stop focusing on everybody and their dreams, their goals. Stop worrying about that. Stop worrying about what your auntie posts, what your cousin posts, where your sister at, where she at on the ground, whatever. Stop worrying about that stuff. It's your life. These people not doing nothing for you. These people not making sure that they start your business for you. These people not making sure that they check off your goal list for you. No, nobody is worried about your goals. Nobody is worried about your future. Nobody is worried about you, period, when it comes down to your life, your bills, and how you're going to eat. Who, who really worried about that, bruh? Who worried about you like that? I'm listening. That's what I'm saying. Ain't nobody really worried about you. You need to be worried about you. You need to be worried about your goals. You need to be worried about how you're about to execute this. You need to be worried about how you're going to get yourself out of depression in the name of Jesus. How are you going to get yourself out of anxiety in the name of Jesus? How are you going to get yourself out of procrastination in the name of Jesus? How are you going to get the courage to start something new in the name of Jesus, baby? I can do all things through Christ. You can do all things in Christ. If you allow him, if you take him up on this offer, if you believe in him, you can do all things through Christ. Y'all, we over here glorifying human beings. We got we got freaking human beings on a pedestal. These human beings got two eyes, one nose. Some of them don't even got a, a full body of function, hands or arms. They ain't got none of that. Some of these people don't even have able bodies and they making it out here. They making a name for themselves. People got less than you and they doing more than you. What are you doing, bruh? What are you doing? People out here don't even, 
that's, that's not even they body is decapitated, bruh, and they making a statement for their life, bruh. What are you doing? You got your arms, you got your legs, you got your tongue, you got your mouth, you got your ideas. Nigga, we got ideas. We got ideas and we kind of, and we be shitting on our ideas. We be, we be belittling our ideas. We be acting like our ideas won't amount to anything, bro. If it's an idea from you and it's a good idea, son, that's going to help somebody else, you better do it. Stop sleeping on yourself. Stop sleeping on your goals. You have the ability to do whatever you put your mind to, whether it's good or bad, okay? Whether it's good or bad, a lot of us go right to the bad shit. A lot of us go into their depression. A lot of us go into a procrastination. A lot of us go into anxiety. That's what we put in our mind to, bro. I had to realize, I'm like, bro, why I'm so depressed? Why I'm so lazy? Because I'm putting my mind to, I don't want to do the things that I set myself down to do. I don't want to, I don't want to fulfill my goals. I don't want to, I don't want to check off nothing on my list. So I'm going to make myself feel depressed. I'm going to make myself feel tired. I'm going to make myself feel lazy. Bro, we got to stop doing that. We got to stop doing it. It's time to be you. It's time to be who God can't call you to be, bro. Stop wasting your time. Another day is not promised. And I had to realize that because I'm I'm thinking like, oh, I got another week to execute this. I got another day to execute this. So I'm consistently pushing my goals back. And bruh, I'm not even promised another day. A lot of us, a lot of old people or young people on their deathbed right now wishing that they could have executed their dreams, their goals, wishing that they could have put a little bit into action. I got people living today. They already taking themselves out the game, talking about, oh, no, it's too late for me. Bruh, listen to the story. I uh, I was listening to Elam. No, it wasn't Elam. I was about to say somebody else, but I forgot his name. I forgot his name, but he was talking about his grandmother, bruh. He was talking about how his grandmother was saying she will be gone pretty soon, right? Grandmother was saying she was going to be gone pretty soon for 30 freaking years, bruh. She was writing herself off from the beginning. She don't know how many, she don't, she didn't know how long she had, bruh. She didn't know how long she had. She had 30 years to execute a new, a new goal. She had 30 years to change her life. She had 30 years to start a new business. She had 30 years, bruh. 30 years, but she killed her dream. She killed her, she killed her dreams. She killed her goals. With her emotions, bruh. She said she can't do it. Or it's too late for her. She cutting herself off. Stop cutting yourself off, bruh. You don't know how long you have on this earth. Not every day is freaking promised to us, bruh. Do not be like that lady who cut herself off at 30 years. And then she had another 30 years to live. Just dead. Dead. Just wasting, wasting. I'm not, oh, I didn't want to say wasting space or wasting whatever. But she was wasting her life. She was wasting her life. She was wasting her creativity. She was wasting the the potential that she had to change the world, bro. It takes one person to change the world. And how that one person changed the world? By changing themselves. By being the person they was called to be. By executing and doing the things that other people not doing. We got to stay focused on our dreams and our goals. We got to want to do this for the better of our life. The better of our just generation. A lot of people not even thinking about their grandkids. I'm thinking about my grandkids, bro, and I'm only 25 and I ain't got no kids. I ain't got no kids, bro. And I'm already thinking about my grandkids. I'm already thinking about my future. I'm already thinking about my, my freaking family and how, to, and how I'm going to help them gain generational wealth, how I'm going to keep wealth in my family, bro. Because... Who gonna, who, who gonna take care of my kids? Who gonna take care of my grandkids? Me, right? Me, my people. You are going to create generations whether you like it or not. If you have a seed, if you even have one seed, that that one seed could make a whole generation. My grandmother only had one child, bruh, and that one child had 13 kids. My grandmother had one kid and my mom had 13 kids, bruh. But what did they what what did I get from their years of living? Nothing. Not trying to um, speak down on my people, whatever. But I ain't gained nothing. Ain't it wasn't a thousand dollars hand in my lap, or it wasn't it wasn't fifteen thousand to start a business? Nah, it wasn't none of that. Niggas was getting taught to clean the house. Niggas was getting taught to freaking cook. That's all niggas was getting taught in the freaking house because that's all my people had to offer. But you're gonna be different. 
I'm going to be, I'm going to be different. I refuse just to teach my family freaking house skills. You're going to know business. You're going to know marketing. You're going to know investing, bruh. What, what kind of mindset are you going to pass on to your children, bruh? Even if you don't got no children, you need to be thinking about it right now. What kind of mindset are you going to be passing on to your children? Are you going to pass on that independent mindset? Or are you going to pass on that dependent mindset? Dependent on the job, dependent on the government, dependent on that one check a month. That's, that's what you're going to pass down to your kids? Is that really what you want to pass down to your generation? If it is, then this conversation is not for you. I'm talking to the people who want to pass down generational wealth. I'm talking to the people who want to pass down just knowledge. I'm talking to people who want to pass down freaking investment, stocks, whatever. I'm talking to people who want to build a good foundation, a great foundation in the name of Jesus to pass on to their next generation, bro. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to the person who wants to pass on great generational wealth to their kids, bro, in the name of Jesus. I'm talking to these people, these people right now who is trying to tell their selves, trying to talk their self out of doing something that will benefit them, will benefit others. I'm talking to you right now. I'm letting you know that you are more than enough. You are more than a conqueror. You can do all things through Christ if you believe, if you allow him, if you take his name into consideration and add him into your life. You don't need no crystals. You don't need no tarot cards. You don't need no palm readings, baby. You don't need nobody that's mixing the pot just to see what's going on in your future, baby. You need to focus on your now. You need to focus on your communication with God now. You need to focus on what you're restoring your strength now in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. You need to focus on reclaiming your reclaiming your strength, reclaiming your power, reclaiming your territory. You're coming to take what's yours. You're coming to take what's yours. The devil is trying to take your your joy, your happiness, your focus. He's trying to take that and replace it with procrastination, sad, and fear. The devil came to kill, steal, and destroy. We're not here to fight against flesh and blood, but we're here to fight against powers, principalities, and high and low places, your emotion, these these spirits that we cannot see, these invisible beings that's trying to cut will corrupt you to stop you from doing your dreams and your goals. You need to stop. You need to stop. You need to clear that depression and them did that you will go back to the pits of hell where you came from. You need to declare that depression, that anxiety, that procrastination, that fear will go back to the pits of hell in which you came from because you will not have no dominion over my life, over my purpose, over me in general, not over my family and my generations to come. You will not have no dominion over my family, over my life right now. Declare it in the name of Jesus. Take it. Stand on it. Stand on the name of Jesus because you are enough. You are enough. No matter what anybody has to say, no matter what you say, no matter what this inner critic says every day that you can't do it, that you shouldn't even do it, that you should stop because you don't know what you're doing. Baby, a lot of people, a lot of people made it starting not knowing what they do it, babe. Woo! A lot of people start doing what they doing without even knowing what they was doing. Nigga Minaj, I didn't even know what I was doing, but I put in the cake. Now, was which world tour show I go on today? They told me I would lose, but I won. Nicki Minaj lyric. You know I'm a Nicki uh, ex Nicki Minaj fanatic, so I got some of her lyrics in me. But that's a, that's right there. That's proof right there. Nicki didn't even know what she was doing. They told her she was lose, but now she won because she kept faith in herself. I don't know if she got Jesus in there. I don't know. But she kept faith in herself. And you got to keep faith in yourself. You got to keep faith in Jesus because you are more than conqueror. We are more than conqueror. We can move mountains if we have a faith as little as a mustard seed. As little as a mustard seed. We will win. We are already coming from a place of victory, bruh. We coming from Jesus' side, bruh. The man that took the keys from heaven. No, from hell. And brought it to heaven. He took the keys from hell, from the devil. Like, what? What, nigga? What's up? You trying to demand my, you trying to demand my people? Bruh, nah, nah. Jesus gave us the keys. The keys to believe in him. The keys to rebuke any kind of demonic spirit in his name. 
We have the power in his name, in the name of Jesus. Reclaim your power, reclaim your territory, reclaim your strength, your God-given strength, your spirit, because these people do not, these spirits, these demonic spirits do not want you to walk in your spirit. They do not want you to come into realization that you even have power. These people see your power, but they want you to remain powerless. Nah, baby, I'm about to be walking in my power all 2022 in years to come okay i'm about to be walking in power for an example for my generational and generations to come for my children i'm about to be walking in power so i can show them that they can walk in power who is looking up to you you got people out here looking up to you what are you showing them are you showing that they can walk in power or they can sit in corruption dysfunction what are you showing what are you what, what kind of actions are you like letting your children, your aunts, your kids, your nephews, whatever, what kind of action are you promoting to these kids, bro? What kind of action are you promoting to these kids? Are you promoting power? Welcome in the name of Jesus. Are you promoting depression? Are you promoting procrastination? Are you promoting just watching the freaking TV screen, just wasting your time, wasting your time? What are you promoting? Are you promoting any kind of creativity? What are you promoting? In front of these kids or just on your freaking just social media what are you promoting are you promoting moving in power baby hopefully you are but if you're not it's time to reevaluate your life it's time to do some maturing it's time to do something different baby it's time to move in your power baby it's time to move in your love do not let your emotions conquer your life do not let this distractions conquer your life do not let these demonic spirits demonic entities conquer your life because we have the power to move mountains we have to do we have the power to do all things through christ if we believe it bro we have the power and we got to stop acting like we ain't got the power stop neglecting your power bro stop neglecting your power from jesus bro that's all i'm here to say oh this video was longer than expected but guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, my channel is all about biblical information, inspiration, Christ chasing, baby, and exposing the nation. I will be coming back with more exposure videos. But I didn't want to get my, my channel saturated with exposure videos, but I'm still going to do it. But don't forget to come back for some motivation. Don't forget to come back for some inf inspiration. Don't forget to come back for some biblical information, guys. Don't forget. This is your girl, Key. Thanks for clicking on me. And I will see you in my next video, okay? <laughs> okay.